been a few long days since I surprised Christine with a new RV. Yeah, we haven't really been talking. We live in the same house, but we're in two totally different worlds right now. So I'm gonna try my best to talk to her, you know? How was your day? I'm not in the mood for this. Keep like, the camera off my face. We film our lives every day. Turn the camera off. I'm not even that mad about the RV. I'm more so upset because he just hasn't taken my feelings into consideration. He's going on willy nilly like nothing's happened and he hasn't even apologized. Good and bad, we're supposed to film whatever is the issue. All right, time to go. I'm back upstairs I go. <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to get creative to patch things up here. Step one, I'm gonna make her some popcorn. She loves popcorn. <laughs> Damn. Putting my life on the line. She's gonna like this. Here you go, baby. Want some popcorn? No, thank you. What? I don't want any. Okay. My apologies. That didn't work. He thinks he can pop some popcorn and all is right in the world. Yeah, think again. It's not gonna work on me. I gotta think of another plan. My plan is to tighten all the jars in the kitchen. She's going to have to call me. Should tell Cookie to crack. Ever since Keith and I got in an argument about the RV, he's been trying to do everything he can to get back on my good side. So his latest thing, he sent me a text earlier saying, get dressed up nice and meet me downstairs at eight o'clock. I have no idea what he has in store, but I'm gonna find out. Your chariot awaits. Not the RV. Yes. Wow, Keith, as soon as I think you're thinking about me and not yourself, you roll up in the very thing that I didn't want to see. Which just reminds me he still has yet to apologize. It looks completely different. Completely different. Come on, baby, have a seat. Let's sit through there. It looks very nice. Um, it looks a lot different than I would have expected, but still not really happy about the fact that you bought it without me. Well, I, I'm trying to make up for it. I thought it was a good plan at the time. I thought it would, you know, benefit us in the long run. You know what I mean? This could be a great project for us. I hear what you're saying, but I think you're missing the point. We had a conversation about what we would do and you still went ahead and made a financial decision without me. I feel like we're supposed to be a team and we're supposed to make these decisions together. But we are a team. But the decision we made together, you decided to still do your own thing. I really do apologize, you know, before we got married, I was just so used to making decisions on my own. I would just do it whenever I felt like it. Now that we're in a partnership, I do see that, you know, most of the decisions, it has to run through both of us. So I'm really, really sorry. Uh, I do apologize. Can you forgive me? Y'all make mistakes. We'll work through it. Oh, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> All right, now let's dig in. Okay. 